What's up, people? I'm back again. Sorry, but I can't help it. I gotta, I gotta stay active. I gotta keep this ball rolling because we're gonna have some fun today. So I'm gonna do a quick video on mascara, of course. Mascara is amazing. It's the best thing. Which color do I want to be today? Ooh, how tan do I want to be today? And check it. So these are these. That's a that's a triple triple. No, that's a mini double decker. This is the little quad. See that little finger mark? My little monster got a hold of it. So if you can imagine what this little dude looked like when I got a hold of him, we won't talk about that. So the main reason why I wanna get on here today is because obviously to show you how amazing mascara is, it's quick, it's easy, I got a baby birthday party to go to. So I'm gonna pop this stuff on, quick, easy, perfect. But mostly I'm so excited because I went out last night on the town. I went to a wedding when you're a mom, that's like amazing. So check these little tiny Fake eyelashes, okay? These are amazing. So these, I just ran to Walgreens because I was like, oh my God, we're going out, what do I do? And I'm working and I'm like, I need lashes and I don't have time to redo mine. And you know, things happened and it all of a sudden snuck up on me and I, I look like this. My lashes are like, I don't know what's happening. So I just needed something to make me feel better uh, about my, non-existent lashes extension. I have lash extensions. I have fake lash extensions. They're amazing, but I just kind of pulled them all out on accident. So I needed to fill in the gap for this night out until I get to go see my girl. This is what I used. Okay. I Lear, I Lear London Pro Magnetic Faux Minx Lashes. Got these from Walgreens, $16, okay? I've been wanting to do it. That's their little advertisement. And you guys, this is like so perfect. Do it, go to Walgreens right now, buy some, they're the best. So I'm gonna do quick makeup stuff, show you how to, it works, and then I'm gonna put those on. So what it is, is it basically comes with this tiny little eyeliner, and I'm gonna show you how to apply eyeliner and actually make it look really, really good pretty easily because I don't do good and I'm gonna teach you how to like little trick to get it like a perfect light wing that you can wear during the daytime. So you put three coats of this, let it dry in between, pop those babies on, you're good to go. So let me go get, I feel like I'm missing, no, I'm not. I don't think I am. I think that'll be just fine. I just wanna make sure that I have all of the brushes that I need. Oh, here it is, perfect. This will do perfectly. Awesome, awesome sauce. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, here's all my mascara brushes. I have a big haul coming. They're double-sided, they're great, they're amazing. And I'm waiting for my 30 second hack brush to come in so that um, I could use my all over face. Okay, so let's get this party started. So I'm gonna go in and I just like to do an all over color um, just to kind of even me out. It's not something that really is, you have to do. I just do it because that's just how I do it. But you can actually start with the bronzer, bronzer, highlight, base color, brightener, cheek color, bam, that's it. I'm gonna do it um, a little bit differently because um, I'm, that's just how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna go in with Sandy. And I'll put a little bit of mango. And you guys be careful, because this stuff's the cream, it's thick, it's not liquid. And I just really tap it through, get it off of my brush so that I don't put too much on one side, okay? I like to even a even layer. Don't forget about your neck. You don't necessarily have to add product. 
to your neck, you can. And I don't like to feel like there's a whole lot on my skin. So I almost want to like, it's almost like you're scrubbing your skin, but you're not scrubbing it because these bristles are so soft. But I like to use my fingers with my eyelids because I don't want to be pulling on them. I don't want my skin to be like too, too, too much going on with my eyelids because that skin's already thin. We don't need to help. That don't need any help. Okay, let me see. If, should I turn the light up? Mm, that's a little bit better. All right. Okay, get you nice and even. There's a little, you can see a little bit of my natural skin, but I like that because I'm just going to a baby birthday. So today I'm not looking for full glam, okay? I'm just looking to look quite nice. Contour brush. This is called the Detail Hack Brush. Line. Make it real crazy, real crazy. Just, just don't be scared, okay? This is not powder. We would never be able to blend this out if this was powder. Okay. Once that's on there, let's go in with your Buffy brush. I'm gonna put on some bronzer, Bella bronzer. One, two, tap. I'm gonna just put it right above that. Contour, bronzer, contour, bronzer. Bronzer is not your contour. Okay, for so long, I have not been using a contour. I've only used a bronzer. There is a difference. Bronzers warm your skin up, make you have a nice, beautiful tan. Contour creates a shadow to accentuate the, your natural structure in your face. Really accentuate your cheekbones. I'm gonna go on top of that. Let's put a little ruby, that nice, beautiful pink color. One, two, tap. I just want a little bit of rosiness, okay? I just really, I wanna bring a little bit of rosiness to my cheeks. All right, now I'm gonna go through and really just blend this in. I'm actually gonna use my Buffy brush. I wanna just soften it up, okay? And you really can just smudge it. I know, you guys, I know, I know. It's crazy. It looks crazy. It looks like a lot, but you have to remember these are creams. You can al always add your contour on your jawline. If you have, you know, if you really want to bring strength and up that jawline. I don't like to do too much contouring on my jawline because my jawline's already very strong. And you see all this, our head never sees the sun. So don't forget about the scalp. You wanna really push that in. Don't forget, we haven't put our highlighter or I mean our brightener on yet. I always save that for last in case my bronzer, I push it up too, too high on accident or just by blending. Let's open this baby up. I'll just use my little mirror. I'm not using a mirror, guys. I'm using, I'm using y'all. All right. So, don't I look crazy? I know, that's okay. You just tap and blend, tap and blend, smudge, 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 okay? Now I'm gonna go through, and I'm actually gonna go back in with my main color, okay? And I'm just gonna, bam. Ooh, swoop that all the way to your lip. Ooh. 
So what starts to happen, you have this and all of a sudden you see the shadow, okay? I didn't even have to add that much. And what this does is it just removes excess product from the bronzer. It just marries it around, okay? And I can actually create softness just by marrying this all together, okay? I don't wanna do a lot of that. Now I'm gonna move on to the highlight. My highlight I'm gonna do, let's see. Let's do Aura. Well, do I wanna do Aura? See, that's the beauty of all of this. You can just choose, like however you're feeling. If you're feeling like, man, I got tan yesterday, like let's tan me up. Notice I haven't blended in my contour up here yet. I don't like to do that really till the end because I don't want to blend it out completely. And I want to wait till I have my highlighter on. I'm just using my finger. You can also use your Perfector Sponge Beauty Blender. They're very, very similar. Um, and what I do is I'll apply it. That way I don't have to get the product on my Beauty Blender. And then I'll just bounce it off my skin. And I don't know why I get red around my nose, so I always like to put a little bit under my nose, okay? This is the Beauty Blender. I mean, ah! this is a pers the Perfector Sponge, okay? Same thing, you know. But this one's actually, it's very soft, okay? Look how bouncy it is. And it's so soft to, you know, do it on your face. So now what I wanna do is I wanna push into my skin, okay? Push into those dips, any texture, any excess product. You wanna really push and smudge, okay? Now, I just do this. This is what's happening in slow motion. Push, 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 not move, move, move. I personally really see a huge difference um, using the Perfector Sponge compared to a brush. Some people prefer a brush, I don't. Um, I don't like to glide the product too much. I like to apply it and blend it and then I like to push it into my skin. Boom. So, if you see like, uh-oh, like I don't know about this, I wanna blend it. I'm not applying any product to my Buffy brush. I'm just circling around. Beautiful. Okay, so do you see how crazy my lashes look? See, there's like none left, they're all gone. There's three of them, they're like Meh. I'm like, oh God, that's not cute, okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put some nude lip on, why not? But first, I'm gonna go ahead and put, um, this is NYC lip liner. It's very pink. I am not trying to get crazy, but a very light layer. It's very hard for me not to get crazy with lip liner. Um, now I'm just gonna get my nude. This is a lip and a cheek. It's so beautiful for fall. And I'm just gonna I just want some color to my lip, okay? I wanna wipe off my lip ring. There you go. I'm gonna snap and my eyebrows are gonna be done, okay? One, two, three. Boom, they're done. All right, that way we don't have to waste y'all's time. I actually use the Brow Definer, Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal. It's amazing, it's little, it's like a tiny little pencil. So you can outline your eyebrows, fill them in, soften them up, and you're good to go. So now, the best part, the lashes. So, 
what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna lean my mirror best that I can. Um, but you know what? Let's put some. Let's put a little bit of. Um, let's put a little bit of eyeshadow on. Um, I'm not gonna get crazy. I'm just gonna put a little bit. I say a little bit, but if you ever watch my videos, I always say a little bit, and then I'm like full glam, like ready. So I'm just going through with this color called Cougar by Be Fearless. And it's just nice, like light tan shimmer. I'm not a big shimmer girl, but that's all right. Then I'm gonna go back with just a little bit of a, this is called Creek. It's just like a dirt color. <laughs> dirt, like a red clay color. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on. This does not have shimmer. So I'm just gonna, that way it kind of tones that down so I'm not glistening like a diamond in the sky. And I don't wanna do a whole lot because I want y'all to see my lashes. Okay, and actually this has a pretty big mirror so I'm just gonna use this for my eyeliner. And the eyeliner is the magnetic part, okay? And it's actually really, really nice. Um, this is what the little applicator looks like. It's nice and little, nice and pointy, okay? It's very soft. And what you wanna do is three coats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply one coat let it dry, apply one coat, let it dry, apply another coat, let it dry. But to really shape it in case I mess up, because if y'all have heard me before, I'm not great at eyeliner, especially on other people, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you how I kind of fix it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna get a little bit. I'm gonna wipe the excess amount off of the brush. And what I'm gonna do is just, I actually go from the outside on the inside. So I'm gonna push my lashes down and I'm gonna zoom in on my eye so y'all can see at this part. Um, and you just make a line like that, okay? And the lash itself is actually not gonna be on that point. It's actually gonna be on the, like, very close to the eyelid. Make sure y'all blend this in, okay? So you can see it looks kind of crazy right now, okay? So that just kind of, sh kind of went for what I'm shaping it for. Did the same thing, similar. Doesn't it look crazy? That's okay. That's okay. So what I'm gonna do, that's the first coat. I'm gonna go through, that's the magnetic one, okay? I'm gonna go through with the regular one to fill in my little boomerang thing. Do you see how I made a little triangle? And then I'm just gonna fill it in. You wanna do the best you can, but don't make it like bigger and bigger and bigger. So now I'm doing the same thing. Same thing on this side. So do you see how it doesn't look perfect? I'm gonna show you how to help that. But first, before we go and clean things up, I'm gonna do another layer. My first layer's dried. And I'm just gonna do along the eyes, the eye, the eye line. Let that dry and do the other side. You want three layers, guys. 
you want it to have a good, this is basically like magnet. So you want it to be nice and, I say thick, but not thick, but just dense so that you don't have any problems. I wore these last night and I was like, oh my God, I have to make a video about these. Like they really do work and I just wondered for so long and I just was in a pinch and just decided to do it. And it was like the best thing ever. I'm like, oh my God, do I need to take off my eyelash extensions and just do these? Go through. Be careful, try not to get them <laughs> on the edges of your lashes. You can tell this is like going on the edges of my lashes. My girl's gonna be like, what the heck did you do to your lashes? Whatever, that's okay. So I'm just cleaning my lashes a little bit. A little lash wand. I'm gonna spray it with some rose water. And I'm just gonna try to take this off. That's one way to put some mascara on. Um, to take these off, I just use my Neutrogena wipes. They're amazing. Ooh, my hair. Okay. And if you do get them on your lashes, just try to take it off like before it dries. But it's not like the end of the world. They'll, they'll come right off with some oil. So now that I have that on, I'm gonna go back in with my normal eyeliner. This is by NYX, you know, that's the point is what it's called. So I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and black. Anything that you want to fix? See how horrible I am? I'm so bad, I know. But that's okay, because I have this nifty, nifty trick. So I get a brush like this. I'm gonna use this tapered edge, okay? This is this. It's just a rose water. I use rose water, you could use a um, toner, anything that like won't make your eyes burn. And you just wet it, and then I'm literally tapering it, and I basically clean it. And what starts to happen is when you kind of cut in to this, it makes it perfect. And then when you see that line of black, just rub it out, okay? You really want to make sure after you do that, you wipe the excess makeup off of the brush so that when you go to the other side, you're not smearing black eyeliner glue magnetic stuff to the other side. So we're going to go on this side again and see this is the real messy side because I'm trying to let y'all see and I'm going to do the same thing. You got it nice and wet, and I just keep going over it. Over, over, over it. And see that one? That one needed a lot of work. And then you just, ooh, sexy. You wanna wipe that off, okay? And we'll go through. I'll show you guys. See, like, that's kind of smoky looking. I'm gonna teach you how to fix that. Hi, Zoe. My dog's wondering who the heck I'm talking to. I'm gonna keep going. And I just basically wanna remove and point this through. And then you can add, where did I put it? Oh, that's not it, here it is. So I want them to look similar, so. point that one a little bit and I didn't get make sure you shake your eyeliner I need to find more my husband's gonna get home any minute and my house is gonna get loud with my babies so I'm trying to be 
efficient. But if I wasn't doing the whole eyeliner thing, that cuts a lot of time out. But like I said, when I tell you I'm gonna do something simple, I mean, it is, but I feel like anytime I do eyeliner, it's just gonna add time. So you just wanna get off that excess product, okay? This is like eyeliner for dummies, okay? Me being the dummy. So then I'm just gonna go back with my mascara. Um, I don't need a lot, I'm literally just gonna go boop, boop. And you're just gonna, everything, all the makeup that you just took off, you just wanna reapply it. Boop, boop. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of sunlit. I'll just do it right here. Boop. You really, really don't wanna to put too much product on. See how just that just brought a little bit of light. A little product with creams goes a long, 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 long way. I just want to bring a little bit of light. This is sunlit. This is lighter than my brightener. My brightener is lighter than my all over base color or highlight. And that's all just extra because I'm extra, so I like to do extra, because I think it's fun. Somebody who doesn't think it's fun is gonna do the minimal thing and look perfectly beautiful. Even more beautiful than you already are. You're just bringing out your natural beauty. Translucent powder. You don't have to do this if you wanna be a little bit dewier. I never go around my eyes because I'll cut stuff like a raisin. Boom. Now the fun part. Okay. So now I'm gonna get these amazing lashes. I'm gonna get my tweezers. I'm gonna pick these babies up right on the edge. You'll notice one side's longer than the other side. This side's shorter, this side's longer. And you want the longer side on the outside of your eye. So what you wanna do is just pop them on the edges. I'm gonna use this mirror I always do less on the inside. So what I noticed yesterday, and I'm noticing right now a little bit, is that I'd like a little bit more support on the inside. <laughs> I just grabbed my big lash and pulled it. See how easy they come off? So what I'm gonna do is go back in with my eyeliner or magnet stuff. And I'm just gonna put a little bit extra on the inside right there. Right on my hairline, okay? because it's sticking but I want to be able to like party like it's 1999 and I'll keep in mind this is even better when you're doing dark um, eyeshadow because it hides it completely okay so I'm gonna let that dry. Get it, just like I said. Okay, that's what it looks like. Give it a nice little push. You can also put mascara on you guys. See? So if it's lifted a little bit right there, pick it up. And move it down there we go see and you can always just give it a nice little pinch and what that'll do is kind of move it into a placement that you're happy with if you stick it on there and you don't like it take it off and redo it the eyeliner the eyeliner does not come off of your oh. look at that <gasps> Oh, 
perfect. And if you're having a hard time with them just not sticking, just put a few extra layers of the eyeliner. And that's it. What you think? Mm, let's put a little bit more tea color. See, that's the beauty of it. I'm just like, mm, more, 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 more. I'm going to do some nude. I just put this on the apples of my cheeks. I'm ready to go to my baby birthday party. Because that's what I do these days. All right. Like, follow, subscribe. Thanks for watching. So much fun. Let me show you again. Next time will be quicker. This is what it looks like. Pro Magnetic Eye Lure Lashes. All right, guys. Have a great day. Happy Saturday.